I've always been kind of a visual thinker. I don't know why, but when I, when I play, I, I hear sound moving through space. I, I feel like I'm painting a canvas with sounds in some, some fashion. <laughs> and so, you know, the visual and, and the um, oral, to me, they, they're all mixed up. <laughs> in a good way, I think, in a good way. This is kind of very personal to me because something I was going for in, in terms of my own playing of the instrument and, and the way I wanted the music to move is this really expansive sense of movement, this really expansive sense of movement, both emotionally from the quietest to the most expressive and, and, and loudest, and also the simplicity of, of a huge soundscape, or whether it's a visual scape. We were trying to capture songs, these ballads, that have been such an important part of uh, my playing and thinking about music. Uh, they're mostly songs, you know, from the 30s and 40s. The, the, the soprano, you know, which is my instrument, it, it does, it's not like the alto and the tenor that have a bell of the horn that, that, you know, the sound goes straight out like a trumpet or something. This horn, the sound is coming out all kinds of different directions. So when I decided, you know, I was talking with my uh, longtime engineer and, and, and good friend Jim Anderson about this project, he said, how about sound surround? So capturing it from 360 degrees is really a very special way to, to hear it. It's really the way the instrument kind of breathes. <laughs> so in that sense, uh, sound surround is, is like a perfect match for my instrument. You know, for somebody like me, who's always been interested in how sound changes when it moves, you know, and I do this thing with the saxophone where, the, you know, I move it, you know, 180 degrees, you move the bell of the horn around, that what could be a more perfect way to capture that than with a listening experience that, that covers 360 degrees, you know? When I heard the playback, <laughs> I, I said to Jim, I says, my God, this is like sonic heroin. I've never heard sound come back at me that comes close to what it feels like to actually be inside the band. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> that's, that's what I got excited about. I take a inspiration from a lot of the great jazz artists who've come before me and who inspire me to do what I do. Um, whether it's in terms of just the, the range of, of expressiveness that, that the band is going to use to express what we're saying or, or what I'm going to say through the instrument. But you know, I'm a saxophone player and uh, the way I, I kind of approach it like a singer in a way. Uh, I find uh, what, something I've learned from the old school players is when I play a ballad, it almost feels to me like I'm singing the lyrics into the horn. And I know the lyrics to every one of these songs that I play. So that gives it this extra, it's, it's kind of like the motion thing. It gives it this extra uh, feeling about the phrasing and, and where you breathe and, and what the song means. That's the most important thing, what the song means. Even though I'm not saying the words, inside I am. And, and I hope, uh, you know, using this very expansive way to capture the music and to bring it to people, that somehow those ideas will get all mixed up. I can't wait for people to hear it. Thank you.